What if I told you that I just copied a $4 million per month app without writing a single line of code? I know that sounds impossible, but in this video, I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step process I use to copy a million dollar app, connect it to Stripe for payments, and let AI do all the heavy lifting. Most people think you need years of coding experience or a team of developers to build a successful app, but I'm about to prove that that is completely wrong. Here's what I'm going to reveal. The one AI tool that built my entire app from scratch, how I identified and copied every feature from a $4 million app without any legal issues, and the exact monetization strategy I used to set up paid features that could generate serious revenue. By the way, I'm not some coding genius or tech entrepreneur with decades of experience. I literally started this project knowing nothing about app development, but using this method, I was able to create a fully functional app that mirrors the success of established players in the market. And here's the crazy part. Everything I'm about to show you can be replicated by anyone watching this video, even if you've never touched a line of code in your life, me. So if you've ever wanted to build your own app, thought it was too complicated or expensive, this video will completely change how you think about app development. So let's dive in. The AI tool that we're going to use is Replit. And with my code Celine, you'll get a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added the link in the description below. When you're building an app that scans documents, first impressions matter. You want the landing page to instantly look clean, modern, and trustworthy because that's what gets people to actually use the tool. So the first thing that we're going to do is set up a polished mobile responsive landing page that shows off what the app can do without overwhelming visitors. I'll tell Replit exactly what we need. Create a simple and modern landing page for a document scanning app. Include a clean layout with the app name and a short introduction. Below the intro, add a section with a brief overview of the app features, such as document scanning, OCR text recognition, file format options such as PDF, PNG, and JPEG, digital signature capture, and scanner history with user login. Make sure the landing page has smooth scrolling and mobile responsive. Important disclaimer. Building apps and making money online isn't easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. When I show you how to build an app, I'm demonstrating the technical process and potential, not guaranteeing your results. So these AI tools are legit and the techniques really work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some luck. Most apps don't make money immediately and many don't make money at all. So I'm not promising that you'll get rich or quit your job. This isn't financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools and what you do with that knowledge is entirely to you. All right, expectations set. Let's continue to build the app. After entering the prompt, Replit responds with a full development plan outlining the steps it's going to take. The structure looks solid, so I'll go ahead and improve the plan and let Replit begin. Right away, the system sets up the landing page structure and lays down all the key UI components. The goal here is to keep things clean and easy to navigate while still showing off the core features of the app. Now we've got a complete working landing page for our app, now named ScanFlow. It includes everything we specified, especially the document scanning. Here we also have a polished header with navigation links, a hero section with call to action buttons, clean feature cards that highlight each tool from document scanning to user login, and a well-organized footer. There's even a status section that adds a bit more credibility to the product. All elements are animated smoothly and the entire page adapts perfectly to mobile screens. The whole layout uses a modern blue gradient theme that gives it a sleek, professional feel. Most people just want a quick way to scan a document and turn it into a clean digital file. Nothing complicated. That's the idea behind this next feature. The app should make it easy to scan and save that file. To make this happen, I'll tell Replit, add a document scanning feature that allows users to upload photos of documents from their device. Display the uploaded image on the screen with an option to rescan or re-upload if needed. The app should be able to convert physical documents to digital files using the device camera or the upload photo or file option. After that, Replit confirmed that the document scanning feature was up and running. Now, 
it's time to test. The scanner page is working and I can now upload a document photo using either the file picker or my device camera. After selecting the file, the image appears on screen and a message pops up saying that the scan is ready. I'm given the option to download it as a PDF, so let's do that. But when I try to open the file, it doesn't work. To fix this, let's tell Replit the file upload is working. It could scan the document or photo I uploaded, but I can't open the downloaded PDF file after downloading. Replit is now fixing the issue with the PDF downloaded by implementing proper PDF generation. Let's test it again. Now, after uploading the document, I can choose to save it in PDF, JPEG, or PNG format. And this time, everything works. The files open without any problems. The scanner page also has options to re-upload or download files, making the process smooth and beginner-friendly from start to finish. Being able to scan a document is great, but pulling out the actual text from that image is what turns a basic scanner into something genuinely useful. That's why we need OCR or optical character recognition. So to get this feature working, I'll tell Replit. After a user uploads an image, display the image on the left side of the screen. On the right side of the screen, add a new panel with the heading Extracted Text. Implement Optical Character Recognition or OCR to automatically analyze the uploaded image. Display the extracted text in the text box within the Extracted Text panel. The text in this box should be editable by the user, allowing them to make corrections. Also include a button to copy or download the extracted text. Replit starts implementing the OCR feature. The goal here is to make everything automatic. Upload an image, extract text, and save or copy it with just a click. While setting things up, it also fixes a new issue with the OCR system and adjusts the layout to make sure the image is displayed clearly and the new text panel looks clean. Once the feature is working, the documentation is updated to match all the new functionality. Let's test it out. I'll upload a random screenshot from my computer with some text in it. After a short moment, the scan finishes and the app displays the extracted text. It's accurate, easy to read, and fully editable. I can make quick changes, copy it to my clipboard, or download it as a plain text file. The app also shows a real-time OCR progress indicator with a percentage, which makes the experience feel smooth and responsive, and the extracted text appears in an editable text area so users can make corrections. Now, with the OCR fully working, the app doesn't just scan. It understands the content. Users can instantly turn any image into editable, exportable text with zero extra effort. Now let's try something a little more challenging. Handwritten text. I have a short sentence written on paper and I'll take a photo of it. I'm going to upload it to the app and see how well the OCR handles it. After scanning, the app successfully extracts the text, but a few words come out a bit off, which makes sense since the handwriting isn't very clear. What's great is that the extracted text can be edited in the app, so it's easy to correct anything that wasn't recognized properly. And once the users have extracted text from a scanned document, the next thing they usually want is control over how that text looks, whether it's for editing, presentation, or export. So in this update, we're turning the basic OCR output into something more powerful by adding rich text formatting. This is the next prompt that I'll use. After extracting text from the uploaded document, add a rich text editor toolbar above the text box. Allow users to format the extracted text. Options should include bold, underline, and changing the font size up to 50. Additionally, provide an option to export the formatted text or the scanned document as a PDF, JPEG, or PNG. Replit gets to work building the formatting tools and adding a new toolbar right above the editable text. It also updates the documentation to include these new export and formatting options. Now, let's test it out again. Once the text is extracted, the formatting toolbar shows up automatically. It can bold or underline text, change the font size between 12 and 50 pixels, and all of the changes show up in real time. When I export the file as a PDF, it keeps the formatting exactly as I styled it. But there's one issue. The formatting applies to the entire block of text, even when I only want to style a specific word or sentence. So to fix that, I'll tell Replit. Currently, the entire document is being edited at once. Please fix the rich text editor so that formatting options like bold and underline 
only apply to the specific text selected or highlighted by the user using their cursor. The editor should allow precise formatting of individual words or sections, not the entire text block. Replit adjusts the editor so it now supports selection-based formatting. That means you can highlight a word, apply a style, and only that part is affected. They also make a few behind-the-scenes improvements, so the extracted text loads cleanly into the editor and everything runs smoothly. I can highlight a sentence and make only that part bold or underlined. Keyboard shortcuts like Ctrl plus B and Ctrl plus U also work, and when I export, I can choose from different formats. Now users have total control over how their text looks, and they can export it in the format they need with the formatting intact. Most document apps stop at scanning and formatting, but real-world use often needs one last thing, your signature. Instead of printing, signing, and scanning all over again, we're going to let users sign directly inside the app, right after editing or reviewing their document. To build this, I'll tell Replit, add an Add Signature button. When a user clicks on this, open a modal window with a canvas where they can draw their signature with a mouse or finger. The modal should have two buttons, Save Signature and Cancel. When Save Signature is clicked, apply the signature to the scanned image or the extracted text panel. The user should be able to drag and resize the signature on the document before saving. Replit adds the full signature feature starting with a new button in the text panel controls. When clicked, it opens a pop-up window where users can draw their signature on a blank canvas using either a mouse or touch input. There's also a clear or reset option in case they want to redo it. Behind the scenes, the app makes sure the canvas loads properly each time the pop-up opens. Once a signature is saved, it's stored as a PNG and added directly into the document. The user can move it around and resize it just like an image, placing it exactly where it needs to go. The project documentation is updated to include the new feature, and after testing, everything works smoothly. The drawing feels responsive, the placement is easy, and the whole process fits naturally into the app. Just click, sign, and drag it into place. Right now, anything you scan or sign disappears the moment you close the app. And that's not great if you're dealing with real documents. So in this update, we're going to make it possible to save your work, come back to it later, and manage everything in one place. So to do that, I'll tell Replit, add user accounts and a document or scanner history to the app. Add login and sign up buttons. Implement a simple user authentication system using email and password. Once a user is logged in, change the landing page to a personal dashboard. This dashboard should display a scan history section. The scan history should show a gallery of all the documents the user has previously scanned. Each item in the history should display a small thumbnail of the document. Clicking on a document from the history should open it for viewing, editing, or re-downloading. The Upload Document button should still be prominently displayed on this dashboard. The app is now updated to support user accounts, so everyone can log in with their email and password and have their own personal space. From now on, any document you scan is automatically saved to your profile, so you can access it anytime without starting over. It also upgrades the scanner to handle saved documents. So if someone clicks on a file from their history, it reopens the scanner, ready to edit, re-download, or export. Now, let's test the full flow. I'll log in using my email and password. Then I'll upload a screenshot, scan the image, extract text, add a signature, and export the final version in both PDF and JPEG formats. The file's downloaded with everything in place, including the signature. Heading back to the dashboard, I now see the same file listed under my scan history, along with thumbnails of all my previous scans. Clicking on any of them reopens the file instantly. So this update brings everything together. With the account login and scan history in place, users can save their documents, return to them anytime, and manage everything from a personal dashboard, just like you'd expect in a real-world productivity tool. Now, everyone needs advanced features but the ones who do, really do. Power users want to organize their files, export without limits, and move fast. And that's why we're introducing a premium plan. And to handle subscriptions cleanly and securely, we're bringing Stripe into the mix. Here's the prompt I'm going to give Replit. Integrate Stripe to support a premium plan with two options, $1.99 a month and $14.99 a year. 
After successful payment, unlock premium perks. Unlimited scan history, folder and tag support, export customization such as watermark or logo custom file name, faster export processing. Display a premium badge on the dashboard and beside the logged in username in the header or profile section. Save premium status in the user database and only show these features to subscribed users. Lock premium-only features for free users with a subtle lock icon or tooltip. After setting up a Stripe account and logging in, the next step is to grab the necessary API keys. These are then pasted into the Replit agent so it can begin integrating the full payment system. Once everything is configured, the app now has a complete Stripe-powered premium subscription system with all the requested features built right in. Now, let's test it out. I'll log into the app with my credentials, and on the dashboard, I can now see the new Upgrade to Premium button marked with a clean gradient crown badge. Clicking it brings up the Premium Upgrade section, which lists both available plans. A monthly plan for $199 and a yearly option for $14.99. Clearly labeled, of course, with a 38% savings badge. All the premium perks are listed right underneath. I'll choose the yearly plan, of course, and I'm instantly redirected to the Stripe payment form. For testing, I'll enter Stripe's demo card number along with any future expiration date and a three-digit CVC. After that, the app confirms that the premium status is now active. Returning to the dashboard, I can see the premium badge permanently displayed next to my username, and all the premium-only features are now fully unlocked. And just like that, the app now supports full subscription billing with access control, Stripe security, and all the upgraded tools real users would expect from a professional document platform. So there you have it, a fully working app built from scratch, Stripe integrated, premium features live, and not a single line of code written manually. If you've been sitting on an app idea because you thought it felt too complex or expensive to build, now you've seen exactly how doable it is. Just like I said at the start, I copied a $4 million app using just one AI tool and you can too. Grab the Replit link in the description, use the code Celine for 10% off and start building something real today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and let me know in the comments what app you're thinking about building next. See you in the next one.